Good morning, dear students. We are going to continue with the next question of exercise 1.2. Up till 10 questions we have done in our previous lecture. Now today we are going to discuss 11th question. The question is write four negative natural numbers. You know about the natural numbers? The natural numbers start from 1 and till further endless numbers are there so these all are natural numbers we are asked to write down negative natural numbers you can write down any negative natural numbers over here it can be any number the answer is not unique 12th question convert into decimals we are having a fraction 13 by 5 so you know how to divide you have to show the division over here in your fair notebooks this work not to be done in uh, rough you have to show this work this is the fair work so divide by this 13 5 to the 10, 3 left, 30, 5, now 30 is there, so decimal will come over here, 5, 6 are 30, and hence the answer is 3.6. Second part, it is a mixed fraction, convert it into an improper fraction, then divide it. Divide like this, divide yourself. Third part, 5 by 8. Now the numerator is smaller than the denominator, so in the first step, we will put a 0 over here with 5, it is 50. So when there is 50, then is 0 point. Decimal will come in the first step. So then we divide it. 8, 6 of 48. 2 left, 20. 8 to the 16. 4 left, 40. 8, 5 of 40. Complete division. Fourth part is your homework. Thirteenth question. In thirteenth question, it is asked that uh, find out uh, that can these numbers be expressed as rational numbers or no. In previous lecture, I have told you about rational numbers. Rational numbers are the numbers which can be expressed in the form P by Q where denominator is not equal to 0. When we are having this recurring, these numbers are recurring, they are coming again and again and non-terminating, it means it is not finished. So whenever we are having this kind of decimal expression, we will write as 0.2 bar. This is 0.2 bar. Or we can write 0.2 itself. 0.2 can be expressed in the form of p by q means 2 by 10. So yes, this is a rational number. Next, 91.777. 91. Here 7 is repeating itself. So when 7 is repeating itself, we can put a bar upon 7. 7 bar or 91.7. Or we can write 917 by 10. Hence, it is a rational number. Third part, try yourself. Fourth part, we are having a number in which... There is endless series of numbers which are non-recurring and non-terminating. So according to the definition of irrational numbers, a number which is non-recurring and non-terminating cannot be put it in the form of P by Q with denominator not equal to 0. Hence, this is an irrational number. It cannot be expressed in the form of a P by Q. Next, coming on to question number 14. Very important. How to rationalize? First part is 2 under root 3 over under root 5. So when we are asked to rationalize the denominator, the denominator here is under root 5. Take this denominator and multiply and divide the full expression by this denominator only. What we get here, under root 3 and under root 5 are in uh, square roots, but they are not same. So put it in one square root. Here, 105 and 105 they come in one square root so the answer is 215 over 5 whenever there is pair two square roots of the same number give us the one complete number next is 3 upon 4 plus under root 3 when we rationalize the denominator of a term like a plus b form so whenever there is a plus b form you rationalize it with change in sign Change in sign 4 minus under root 3 over 4 minus under root 3. Here it was plus, so here it will be minus. Multiply it. In the denominator there is 4 plus under root 3 and 4 minus under root 3. So here the identity is to be used. A plus B into A minus B is A square minus B square. So in the numerator you are writing the same thing. Denominator A square minus B square. Whenever you are having a square root and the square of it this square root is the degree 1 by 2 1 by 2 gets cancelled with 2 so answer is the number itself here we are left with 16 by 3 and the answer is this 
second part similarly done like same like second part uh, fourth part is 203 minus 1 203 minus 1 because a was plus sign multiply the numerators multiply the denominators a plus b a minus b a square minus b square where 203 term is opened as 2 square separate and 103 square separate but here the sign dot signifies the product 4 3 is a 12 minus 1 7 17 203 minus 1 over 11 this is the answer fifth part try yourself here the uh, homework is third and fifth part 15th find out right each of the following are rationals or irrational we have to find out whether these are rationals or irrational first part it is an identity of a minus b whole square the formula is a square plus b square minus 2ab so a square plus b square minus 2ab a square this square root gets cancelled with this square 3 plus 4 minus 403 7 minus 403 a uh, expression in which any square root term is present is irrational next a plus b a minus b dono product mein hai to a square minus b square 9 minus 3 is 6 rational number fourth part 6 upon 302 now what we do usually we take a, a take the denominator multiply and de uh, divide by the same denominator in a single term so now we are having 302 you can write here 302 or you can simply write only under root 2 because when you write 302 over 302 this 3 this 3 gets cancelled there is no fun of writing so simply write under 2 over under 2 solve them you will get the answer under 2 which is again irrational 16th important question starts from this question 3 plus root 7 over 3 minus root 7 minus 3 minus root 7 over 3 plus root 7 whenever you are supposed to do such kind of questions where you don't know about the lcm of the denominators of two expressions which are adding or getting subtracted use this criteria if you are having a by b minus c by d you don't know about the common factors you don't know about the lcm simply get the product of these two get the product of these two and get the product of these two right on the respective places when we multiply these two a d minus b c divided by both denominators b d same concept you have to use over here 3 plus root 7 into 3 plus root 7 means 3 plus root 7 whole square minus 3 minus root 7 3 minus root 7 means whole square in the denominator a plus b a minus b is a square minus b square I am writing these two identities on the top. You people also write down in your copies. The work should be neat and clean. Here, open the expression a square plus b square plus 2ab minus. Yahan bracket kyun lagaiye? Because negative sign hai. Negative sign se mistakes ho to hone ke chances bad jate hai. Isli yahan pe bracket rakho. a square plus b square minus 2ab. Jab tak ye simple term na jai, tab tak ye bracket nahi hatani hai aapne. Isko 3 ka square 9, 107 ka square 7, plus 607 minus. In the bracket 9 plus 7 minus 607 open the bracket whenever we open the bracket the signs inside the bracket reverses 9 and 7 gets cancelled with this 9 and 7 of negative sign 607 plus 607 over 2 we are left with whenever you are left with these kind of expressions here 107 is present in both the terms so you can simply write 1207 over 2 but you are new in this concept First, in first two questions, you can do like you do like this: 607. Take common. You are left with 1 plus 1 inside the bracket over 2. 607 into 2 over 2. The answer is 607. Second part is homework. Third part is done in the similar way. Just check it out. A plus B whole square plus A minus B whole square over A square minus B square done in the same way. Farak kaha hai? Us question mein aur is question mein kya difference hai? Wahaan par center mein negative sign tha. Yahaan par plus ka sign hai. So plus ke sign ke saath ye mixed wali term cancel ho jayegi. Aapke paas answer a jayega rational. Next 17th question. 17th question verify that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Ye property maine aapko book में जब properties read out करी थी हमने तो मैंने समझाया था this property is known as associative property कि अगर आप three numbers को add कर रहे हो 
उन थ्री नंबर्स में से पहले आप टू नंबर्स को ऐड कर रहे हो ये लास्ट टू नंबर्स को या फर्स्ट टू नंबर्स को ए प्लस बी को ऐड करके उसमें बाद में सी ऐड कर रहे हो या बी प्लस सी को ऐड करके उसमें बाद में ए ऐड कर रहे हो द आंसर विल बी सेम इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू वेरीफाई इट वट वी हैव डन वी आर गिवन विद ए बी एंड सी ए प्लस बी ए प्लस बी ब्रैकेट के अंदर है तो इसको पहले सॉल्व कर लो माइनस फाइव बाई एट है फिर जब इसका आंसर आ जाए फिर इसको इसके साथ सब्ट्रैक्ट कर दो यू विल गेट आंसर माइनस इलेवन बाई ट्वेंटी फोर इन राइट हैंड साइड आई हैव सब्सिट्यूटेड द वैल्यूज फाइव बाई सिक्स माइनस फाइव बाई एट को पहले सॉल्व कर रहे हैं ये ब्रैकेट को सॉल्व करके आपके पास आ गया फाइव ओवर ट्वेंटी फोर देन यू आर लेफ्ट विद टू टर्म्स सॉल्व दैम बाई टेकिंग द एल सी एम यू विल गेट द सेम लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज राइट हैंड साइड हैंस प्रूव and this property is known as associative property under addition question number 18 find out the additive inverse of each of the following maine aapko pehle bhi bataya hua hai additive inverse wo cheez hoti hai jo kisi bhi number ko zero kar de agar aapke paas 1 hai to uska additive inverse minus 1 hoga agar minus 1 hai to uska additive inverse 1 hoga minus 3 by 8 ka additive inverse hoga plus 3 by 8 माइनस एट का प्लस एट माइनस फोर्टी टू ओवर माइनस सेवन मतलब फोर्टी टू ओवर सेवन और उसका इनवर्स होगा माइनस फोर्टी टू ओवर सेवन बाकी के पार्ट्स अपने आप ट्राई करो नाइनटीन वट नंबर मस्ट बी सब्जेक्टेड फ्रॉम थ्री बाई ट्वेंटी सो एज टू गेट थ्री बाई फोर थ्री बाई ट्वेंटी में से सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम थ्री बाई ट्वेंटी थ्री बाई ट्वेंटी में से क्या सब्ट्रैक्ट करें कि आपके पास आंसर आ जाए थ्री बाय फोर This is the equation according to question. Simply solve it. This x will move to that side and this थ्री by फोर to come to this side. I have taken like this my way because always x should be at the left hand side. थ्री by ट्वेंटी minus थ्री by फोर एल सी एम ट्वेंटी थ्री माइनस फिफ्टीन ओवर ट्वेंटी माइनस ट्वेल्व ओवर ट्वेंटी एंड ऑन सिंप्लीफाइंग वी गेट माइनस थ्री बाय फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी Again, this question is of proving left hand side is equal to right hand side. Here, the property is if a into b plus c is there. I have explained you earlier. It means a is equally distributed to b, and a is equally distributed to c also. So we have to prove this. Left hand side, let's go. Pehle left hand side ki bracket ko pehle solve karo. Aapke paas ek term aa jayegi. मल्टीप्लाई दिस टर्म विद द गिवन टर्म ये मल्टीप्लाई हो गया आपके पास एक एक्सप्रेशन आ जाएगा वो आपने खुद फाइंड आउट करना है देन राइट हैंड साइड माइनस फिफ्टीन बाय फोर इंटू थ्री बाय फोर ये होता है माइनस फिफ्टीन बाय फोर इंटू माइनस ट्वेल्व बाय फाइव नाइन होता है इन दोनों का एल्सियम लेके इनका एडिशन निकालो यहाँ पे वट एवर यू गेट इट शुड बी इक्वल टू दिस थिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन By what rational number should we multiply minus थ्री by सेवन to get सिक्स by फोर्टी नाइन माइनस थ्री बाय सेवन को किस से मल्टीप्लाई करोगे कि वो सिक्स बाय फोर्टी नाइन आ जाए इट विल बी द इक्वेशन विल बी दिस एंड वेन वी आर हैविंग अ फ्रैक्शन ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मूव दिस फ्रैक्शन टू राइट हैंड साइड द फ्रैक्शन विल रेसिप्रोकेट सिक्स बाय फोर्टी नाइन इन टू This three by seven will be minus seven over three on the right hand side. Cancel them, simplify them. You get minus two by seven as answer. Moving on to next exercise, word problems on rational numbers. We are having only five questions, and then our chapter is complete. First question, question number one: A's share is one fourth of B's share. B's share is three by fifth of C's share. C's share is four by fifth of D's share, and D's share is rupees fifty. अगर डी शेयर फिफ्टी है तो इसकी वैल्यू यहाँ पुट कर दो तो डी शेयर क्या आ जाएगा सी शेयर क्या आ जाएगा फोर बाय फाइव ऑफ डी शेयर मतलब फिफ्टी फोर बाय फाइव इंटू फिफ्टी ये आ गया फोर इंटू टेन रुपीज़ फोर्टी वट इज सी शेयर रुपीज़ फोर्टी बी शेयर इज थ्री फिफ्थ ऑफ सी शेयर सी की वैल्यू यहाँ पुट कर दो यू गेट ट्वेंटी फोर ए शेयर में बी की वैल्यू पुट कर दो यू गेट रुपीज सिक्स क्लियर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन Team A, the highest score of Team A in an inning of a cricket test match was seven by sixteen of total score. अब यहाँ पे इस क्वेश्चन में total score हमें नहीं मालूम. We don't know about total score. So let us suppose it as x. ये over x नहीं लिखा है. मैंने यहाँ पे एक छोटी सी bracket लगाई है. ये बताने के लिए कि इसी को हमने x suppose किया. 
ठीक है यहाँ पे ये डिवाइड साइन नहीं है दिस इज नॉट डिवीजन टू अवॉइड एनी काइंड ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन आई एम जस्ट हाईलाइटिंग इज दिस थिंग दिस इज नॉट डिवीजन दिस इज एज सपोज एज एक्स और राइट टीम बी स्कोर इज सेवन बाई ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ रिमेनिंग स्कोर लेट ए स्कोर इज सेवन बाई सिक्सटीन ऑफ x बिकॉज वी आर सपोज इट एज x रिमेनिंग स्कोर क्या होगा टोटल में से ए स्कोर सब्जेक्ट कर दो x माइनस सेवन बाई सिक्सटीन एक्स सिक्सटीन एक्स माइनस सेवन एक्स ओवर सिक्सटीन नाइन एक्स बाई सिक्सटीन बी स्कोर बी स्कोर क्या है सेवन बाई ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ रिमेनिंग रिमेनिंग कितना निकाला हमने नाइन एक्स बाई सिक्सटीन तो ट्वेंटी वन ओवर वन ट्वेंटी एट एक्स आ गए नाउ द कंडीशन इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन द स्कोर वॉज सेवेंटी ए स्कोर बी स्कोर सब्जेक्ट करके सेवेंटी है तो सेवन बाई सिक्सटीन एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी वन बाई वन ट्वेंटी एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी सो ट्रैक दैन एंड वट यू विल गेट आफ्टर सम सिंप्लीफिकेशन यू गेट टू फिफ्टी सिक्स द टोटल स्कोर इज टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री अ स्टूडेंट वॉज आज टू फाइंड सेवन बाई नाइनटीन ऑफ अ सर्टन नंबर ही मेड द मिस्टेक ऑफ फाइंडिंग सेवन बाई नाइन ऑफ इट सो अगेन अ कॉपी ड्रॉन्ग प्रॉब्लम There is a number x. The correct number is seven by nineteen of that number. And incorrect number which student has copied is seven by nine instead of nineteen. Seven by nine of x. According to question, incorrect number is seventy more than the correct number. So seven by nine x is equal to seven by nineteen x plus seventy. Move the x terms to left hand side. Seven by nine x minus seven by nineteen x is equal to seventy. Seven x common one by nine minus one by nineteen in the bracket is equal to seventy. Nineteen minus nine over one hundred seventy one. Multiply these two. Move this term over here. This term over here. Subtract them and simplify. Nineteen minus nine is ten. Here x is seventy into one hundred seventy one over seven into ten. X is one hundred seventy one. The number is number to be found is one hundred seventy one. Next, similar to first question, my son's age is one third of my wife's age. My wife's age is four by fifth of my age. My age is three by fifth of my father's age. My father's age is fifty years. थ्री बाई फाइव इंटू फिफ्टी थ्री इंटू टेन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी ईयर्स ये किसकी एज आ गई माई एज सो फाइव एज फोर बाय फाइव ऑफ माई एज ये थी ना कंडीशन सो फोर बाय फाइव इंटू थर्टी फोर इंटू सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर्स सन्स एज वन बाय थ्री इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर इज इक्वल टू एट ईयर्स दीज थ्री एज ऑफ सन वॉज आर्स सो सन्स एज इज एट ईयर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन A one hundred sixteen two by three meter long wire is cut into equal pieces measuring eight one by three meter each. How many such small pieces are there? Total length of wire one hundred sixteen two by three. Simplify this mixed fraction. You get three fifty by three meter. Length of each piece eight one by three meter means twenty five twenty five by three meter. Whenever you are supposed to find the number of things small things cut out of the bigger thing. so the formula is general formula is number of pieces is equal to total length of wire over length of each piece 350 by 3 over 25 by 3 this 3 gets cancelled with this 3 350 over 25 simplify you get 14 so how many pieces in how many pieces the wire is being cut it is 14 pieces so this is the last question this was the last question of exercise 1.3 and here we complete our chapter 1 students the work on your notebooks should be neat and clean this is my work it should be like this only whenever we meet at school i will check the notebooks and the assessment will be given to you according to your work you have plenty of time at home revise the chapter along long with first chapter done first chapter revise kar lo ho sakta hai online aapka hum test bhi aapko test sheet bhej de your parents will take your test and stay safe stay at home Don't disturb your parents help your parents thank you so much